Alright, what's going on folks? Back here, getting ready for another race this weekend. Didn't get to go to Jake's last weekend, it got rained out, got canceled. That's just part of it. First one for the year, it's doing pretty good I'd say, I guess. And uh, so basically what I'm doing is I'm going around and I'm double checking everything. Uh, it's been about a little over a week since we had everything out. So I'm double checking all the boats and everything. We've been driving it around here a little bit and there. I'm, uh, we got the uh, uh, boosted event, boosted 931 event this weekend, and car mob and uh, sublimes uh, event this weekend at Etheridge, the no prep. So uh, I am changing the settings on my shocks, getting ready for a no prep setting. And while I've actually got the tires and stuff off, I'm going to uh, put it on my no prep settings that I run. These are Warriors on this car right here on my wife's car these are actual warriors we had a when i ordered them i had a little mix up and they sent me warriors instead of crusaders and uh, uh if you didn't know that 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 therefore that that's why we run warriors i wouldn't have warriors on here i'd have crusaders on here but uh i can make it work i just you know it, it don't really matter i prefer you to get crusaders if you're going to deal with me on suspension you know i get a lot of messages about suspension if you're going to deal with me and want me to help you on suspension uh i prefer crusaders but if you got warriors that's okay also but uh uh i'm gonna set her car up for no prep uh she said she wasn't gonna run in it for no prep but just in case she runs her mind i'm going to set it up anyways uh she may change her mind once she gets there she may not because i'm gonna run my car and our plan is if uh, if we get put out early we're gonna leave and then we're gonna head over to jake's drag strip which is about an hour away and it is fully prepped there and we really need to try out these 373 gears we got in this thing so that's the plan for this this coming up weekend today is tuesday so i'm just double checking the cars all the boats and everything look good and everything but my no prep settings on these warrior uh is going to be eight and 12 on the warriors eight compression 12 rebound all right i got it all set up eight and 12 on the compression rebound um and we we will be driving it to the event also and that's why i'll put some street tires on it and when we get there we'll swap over swap over i'm going to actually rotate those tires today also i'm going to demount them off them rims and flop them around they're still a pretty good tread but on my last set if you watched a couple of videos several videos ago the inside had wires showing on them i'm not letting these do that so I'm gonna take them on demount them and I'm gonna flip them around, put them on the uh, on the rims and flip them, rotate them basically. Trash temp. It only does it going forward. Does it better backing up? Nothing. You hear it whining. Put it in neutral. Doesn't do it. Not the power steering. Whoa, I pulled the pan. Let them have a turbo 400 to fly. Cool. My dipstick's all the way in. So 
that's down in the oil a little bit. That's down in the oil a little bit. All that's down in the oil. So, all that's down in the oil. So to be flat with this right here, to be flat for my dipstick, to be flat with the pan, it would have to be right on the full mark. It would have to be on that that line that we see, that first line that we see right there. Whatever that first line is, that would be the full mark. Whatever that first line is would be the full mark. Right there. Yeah, that would be, that first line that you see right there would be flush with this metal right here. All right, to be flush with this bottom part right here, the plastic would be the bottom of the braided, bottom of the braid right here, where the lutz is low, that's where it would be at. So, yeah, now I'll pull a dipstick out and see where the bottom of that line is, see what that line, bottom of that line says, but, yeah. Line full mark. Alrighty, <laughs> got the new screen in. Okay. Two pushed up in there, got the boat, the boat put in. That's how it holds the screen in. That one boat, Just push that tube, that tube, push it up in there. And then that one half millimeter boat. And that spacer. That's it. Now I'll put the uh, I'll put the pan back on with the new uh, uh, the new gasket. And I put it back on and put the boats back in there. And I'll add about oh, I'll add about six because uh, I ain't gonna fill the converter up. The converter's already got fluid in it. I'll put about six or seven quarts in and I'll, I'll check it. I think. And then uh, I'll go from there. See. We all make mistakes. <laughs> we all refilled it. We all filled the trans. So I drained it. I pulled the plug on it. I drained a little bit out. And we're going to let it get back up to temperature and go from there. It's 135 degrees, which that's good enough to check it. So. Oh, the UPS man, I like it when he comes. Oh, some front runners. Trying to slick over a little. I can still run these a little bit, but I figured I'd go ahead and grab these while I could. So, these are not DLT approved. Well, I went ahead and changed the plug while I was at it. But there's too many videos I know how to do that, so I just didn't show none of that. You know, but here they are. One, two, three, and four plugs. They were getting a little cruddy. Needed to be changed. Uh, you know, I, I used to have a cylinder eight misfire a long time ago. If that was the reason why that little crud I thought it was oil at first but it's not oil I don't know exactly what that is unless it's oil and it's done dried up but at one time I did have a valve cover leak but I fixed it but I never changed the plug the car's got like 22,000 miles on it but he has you know it's running E85 flex fuel tune E85 and 93 but we got some new ones in there now. I gapped them at 45. Hold it up. Lock them down this morning.
Let's move it on. No prep. Pretty good. Fortunately, we didn't have that big of a turnout for the NA class. JJ the boss is putting on a big race about three hours from here. It ate it up for us, but hey, it is what it is. It's all right. I had one car, had a big fire down there. Hate that that happened. Uh, I think he lost his motor and everything, but uh, hope he gets everything going and stuff. So we didn't enter the 18. Chris, he didn't feel too safe about doing the no prep uh, on hers. So, but uh, we're gonna leave here in probably about another hour or so and do uh, about take about an hour drive over to jet prep tonight. We're gonna try out that new 373 gear. Meantime, check this out. Got me a cool picture. That's pretty cool. Altitude is a thousand, a thousand different. Oh my life, flashlights on that one. Oh.
freaky heat on that, did you? I didn't do that. Freaky heat on that. He got mad. I getting, I got cost to beat me. Too close. Too close. <laughs> it was a good race.